Are you ready to discover one of the most successful investors of all time's top secret investment strategies? You might know him from the hit movie The Big Short, but today, we're diving deep into the investment genius of Dr. Michael Burry. Burry has made headlines in the financial industry with his audacious and accurate predictions, which include the 2008 housing market catastrophe. But what makes him successful, exactly? What trends is he currently concentrating on, how does he assess stocks, and how does he examine investments? Despite his attempts to inform investors of the 2008 crash, market gurus made fun of him. He raised the alarm about the inflation issue early in 2021, but no one listened. In this video, we will give you an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at Burry's investment approaches, covering everything from his early days as a value investor to his emphasis on commodities and water resources. We will talk about his daring bets against the housing market and how he handled the criticism and skepticism from other investors. Don't forget to subscribe to Wealth Dynamics to keep yourself updated with the latest happening and insights of the finance world. Not only that, but we'll also go over the lessons that investors can take away from Burry's success and how to apply them to your investing strategy. This will be a spicy and exciting journey, so sit back, eat some popcorn, and get ready to take notes. Dr. Michael Burry's name has come to represent successful hedge fund management and investing. Burry, who has a medical degree, established himself as a financial expert and started his hedge fund, Scion Capital, in 2000. He immediately found a reputation by concentrating on inexpensive stocks and applying original investment techniques. Burry's accurate forecast of the 2008 housing market crisis confirmed his status as one of the best investors ever, bringing him international recognition for his astute investment acumen. Burry is renowned for his unusual investing approach and aptitude for spotting new market trends. He continues to invest in unique opportunities, particularly in commodities and water resources, and his tactics have inspired investors and financial analysts worldwide. Burry became a legendary investor when he correctly forecasted the property market collapse in 2008. Burry had the vision to see the problems with the housing market, notably with the subprime mortgage sector. Despite doubt from other investors, he made a significant bet against the market by purchasing credit default swaps. As the housing market collapsed, Burry and his investors made enormous gains due to this decision. Burry's foresight in predicting the market fall was acclaimed as remarkable, and his capacity to spot the opportunity in a market slump solidified his reputation as an astute investor. Investors and analysts continue to study and respect his accuracy in foreseeing the housing market catastrophe. It continues as a lesson on the value of spotting changing market trends. Early investment tactics employed by Dr. Michael Burry were based on his emphasis on value investing and his analytical analysis of financial statements. Burry, a medical doctor, brought a distinct viewpoint to investment, seeing it as a prognosis for a company's financial health. He felt that to accurately assess a company's true worth and potential for growth, financial statements, balance sheets, and income statements must be carefully analyzed. Burry's value investing strategy involved locating undervalued businesses trading below their true worth. He made long-term investments in these undervalued businesses because he thought they had the potential to develop significantly over time. Burry frequently took a contrarian strategy, investing in companies he thought had solid fundamentals while being unpopular with the market. Burry's analytical approach to financial statements entailed going beyond the figures and ratios on the surface to identify hidden jewels that other investors might overlook. He was interested in finding businesses with solid cash flows, little debt, and good returns on invested capital. Also, he searched for companies with a competitive edge in their sector or market. Burry has been renowned for spotting value when others couldn't, and his systematic and research-driven investing strategy was frequently characterized. He assessed potential investments and determined their long-term prospects using various analytical techniques, including discounted cash flow analysis. One of Dr. Michael Burry's fundamental investment tenets is finding undervalued stocks and investing long-term. This strategy entails discovering undervalued businesses and holding on to them for a long time until the market recognizes their total value. 
Burry's emphasis on cheap equities stems from his conviction that the market sometimes overreacts to recent news and events, causing brief fluctuations in stock prices that do not accurately represent a company's long-term potential. Burry was able to make investments in firms with solid fundamentals that he thought would eventually achieve their actual value by spotting undervalued equities. His long-term investing strategy is another essential component of Burry's investment philosophy. He held that long-term holding of investments was necessary to realize their full potential of them and that effective investing required both patience and discipline. Thanks to this strategy, Burry could concentrate on creating a portfolio of high-quality investments rather than dealing with the volatility of short-term trading. Burry established his hedge fund, Scion Capital, in 2000, putting his investment philosophy into action. His belief in the value of in-depth investigation and analysis formed the basis for the fund, and he devoted countless hours to studying financial reports and market trends to find the finest investment opportunities. Due to Burry's willingness to invest in businesses that the market didn't like but had solid fundamentals, Scion Capital gained a reputation for its contrarian approach to investing during its tenure as CEO. His emphasis on inexpensive stocks and long-term investing paid off handsomely, as Scion Capital, throughout the years, produced sizable returns for its clients. One of the most impressive demonstrations of Dr. Michael Burry's investment skills is his ability to spot the housing market bubble and place a significant bet against it using credit default swaps. Burry foresaw the demise of the subprime mortgage sector and the ensuing financial crisis of 2008 as a result of his thorough examination of the housing market. Burry started his investigation in the early 2000s after spotting a concerning pattern in the property market. He noticed lenders granted mortgages to applicants who did not meet conventional credit requirements. These loans were then bundled and sold to investors as mortgage-backed securities. Burry understood that the market for these assets was wildly inflated and that many of these loans were destined to default. Due to his worries, Burry started buying credit default swaps, a financial instrument that enables investors to bet against the performance of mortgage-backed assets. Burry was betting that the housing market would crash and the mortgage-backed securities he had a chance against would lose all their value. Burry's bet was a dangerous choice as the housing market grew and investors continued to pour cash into mortgage-backed securities. Yet as he kept studying the market carefully, he grew more and more certain that his projections were correct. Burry's bet was successful in 2007 in a significant way. Several mortgage-backed assets that Burry had gambled against lost their value as the housing market started to crumble. As a result, Burry's hedge fund Scion Capital made a sizable profit, and Burry rose to prominence in the investment world. Burry's ability to spot the housing market bubble and place a significant bet against it using credit default swaps was a testimonial to his profound understanding of the financial markets and willingness to take measured risks. His accomplishments in this field solidified his standing as one of his generation's most gifted investors. Credit default swaps, Dr. Michael Burry's bet on the housing market, did not initially receive a lot of backing from other investors. He received harsh criticism from several industry insiders who thought his strategy was too risky and questioned the reliability of his analysis. Other investors thought Burry's purchase of credit default swaps was an ill-advised bet against the housing market and that he was adopting a position that would probably result in significant losses. Some viewed his investment as speculation rather than a credible investment technique based on careful financial analysis. Burry was steadfast in his commitment to his investment approach and self-assured in his judgment despite the resistance he encountered. He kept buying credit default swaps because he believed the housing market needed a substantial correction. Burry's bet paid off handsomely in 2008 when the market did, in fact, crash. Burry had a chance against several mortgage-backed securities that became worthless due to the collapse of the subprime mortgage market. Burry's hedge fund, Scion Capital, produced a sizable profit and he rose to fame among investors. In hindsight, it is evident that Burry's assessment of the housing market was accurate and that he made a wise decision to bet against the market, which was highly profitable. His reputation as one of the most gifted and astute investors of his time has been solidified by his success in this field. 
The fact that Dr. Michael Burry correctly predicted the housing market's collapse in 2008 teaches investors several vital lessons. Let's go over some significant findings. The importance of thorough research, Burry's thorough investigation and analysis of the financial markets had a significant role in his ability to foresee the housing market's collapse. He spent endless hours analyzing economic statistics, market movements, and financial statements. As a result, he was able to pinpoint the causes of the housing market's fundamental issues and base a wise investment decision on his discoveries. Independent thought's importance, Burry's achievement also emphasizes the value of independent study and investment. Other investors and business professionals criticized him, but he stuck to his research and strategy, and in the end, his bet paid off handsomely. Long-term success is likely for investors who can think independently and make investment decisions based on careful study. The advantages of taking calculated risks, Burry's bet against the housing market was dangerous, but he could reduce it with meticulous research and shrewd investment planning. Long-term investors ready to take calculated risks supported by solid analysis and research may have a higher chance of realizing significant gains. The power of diversification, while Burry's bet against the housing market was a crucial part of his investment strategy, it was not the only factor contributing to his success. In addition, he used a wide range of investments, such as stocks, bonds, and other financial products. Burry reduced risk and generated steady profits over time by diversifying his investments. The current investment methods of Dr. Michael Burry demonstrate his continued dedication to in-depth investigation, independent thought, and a readiness to accept measured risks. Burry has recently shown a growing interest in commodities and water resources investments, which he feels are both poised for growth and present significant investment potential. Burry is interested in water resources because he thinks that water shortage is an increasingly urgent global issue. Burry believes that the corporations and organizations that manage water resources will become more valuable as populations rise and climate change worsens water shortages. He has invested in various businesses handling water, including infrastructure suppliers and utilities. Burry is drawn to commodities like other investors because he thinks they will experience rapid development. He has invested in various things, such as gold, silver, and copper, which he believes have the opportunity for long-term gain and hedging. Burry has also indicated an interest in investing in materials used in renewable energy technologies, such as lithium and cobalt, which he predicts will gain significance as the globe transitions to a more environmentally friendly future. Dr. Michael Burry's investments in the water industry reflect his severe worries about the effects of climate change on the world's water supply. Burry thinks that as the world's population rises and the impact of climate change worsens water shortages in many parts of the world, there is an urgent need to address the issue of water scarcity. Burry's investments in the water sector are motivated by his conviction that businesses and organizations concentrating on water management and conservation would appreciate over time. He has invested in several water-related companies addressing water shortages and ensuring that the world's water resources are used sustainably, including water utilities, infrastructure providers, and equipment makers. Burry's investments in the water sector reflect his conviction that the businesses and organizations best positioned to handle these problems would succeed and thrive. He is investing in these businesses to help address one of our day's most critical environmental and humanitarian issues in addition to seeking financial gains. Dr. Michael Burry has demonstrated a significant interest in commodities like gold and copper, which he sees as a hedge against inflation and economic instability, in addition to his investments in water resources. Burry strongly emphasizes spotting long-term trends and investing in things that are expected to increase in value over time. He believes that commodities like gold and copper have the opportunity for long-term growth and short-term hedging. Particularly gold has long been seen as a safe haven asset that investors gravitate to during difficult economic times. Burry has invested in a range of gold-related assets, including mining stocks and actual gold bullion since he views gold as a hedge against inflation and currency volatility. Contrarily, copper is a crucial industrial metal utilized in various industries, including building and electronics. 
Burry has invested in several copper mining firms and other copper-related properties because he thinks copper is a lucrative investment due to its significance in the global industry and infrastructure development. Burry is interested in commodities because he is worried about the long-term viability of the world economy. He contends that the enormous debt loads and currency devaluations of recent years are unsustainable and that investors must prepare for potential economic downturns in the years to come. Overall, Burry's investments in commodities are a testament to his conviction that it is crucial to spot long-term trends and invest in things that are likely to increase in value over time. He is attempting to safeguard his portfolio against potential economic upheaval and put himself in a position to profit from long-term growth tendencies in the global economy by concentrating on commodities like gold and copper. Michael Burry doesn't do podcasts or canned ads and never gives interviews. Individuals are eager to learn about and follow Michael Burry, particularly those just starting. They also want to know his opinions on stock market trading. Several traders could still covertly follow his ideas on the stock market through his Twitter presence throughout 2020 and 2021, Burry tweets through his Twitter account, providing market forecasts and opinions. If you are unfamiliar with the stock market and want to learn more, his comments and analyses may be helpful. Burry thinks the American stock market is booming at the moment. He recognizes significant overvaluation and isn't hesitant to point it out. Burry's trading strategy was built on value investing, extensively described in the 1934 book Securities Analysis by Benjamin Graham and David Dodd. He gives preference to agricultural land that is close to the water and is not severely confined by political or physical restrictions. He says in the big short that he will only invest in water moving forward, but this turns out to be untrue when he reopens Scion Asset Management. Burry is making an investment in an increasingly popular nut that requires 5 liters of water per seed to grow. In California, where 80% of the almonds in the world are grown, they use 10% of the available agricultural water. Almonds should thus be grown outside drought-affected areas and shipped home since it makes sense and is practical. Burry uses research as a stock-picking tool. It is evident from reading through Burry's earlier blog posts how much time he invested in researching potential investments. Burry constantly performed in-depth assessments of his investments, looking for value everywhere. And last, Burry preferred to maintain a portfolio of no more than 20 reasonably targeted holdings. This concentration level is unwise for most investors, but Burry's in-depth research ensured he was informed about his holdings and comfortable with his decision to be so focused. Also, he had a high turnover rate. Investors who want to create a successful investment portfolio can learn numerous important lessons from Dr. Michael Burry's investment ideas. These lessons include the usefulness of in-depth study and research, the necessity of maintaining attention on long-term patterns and developments, and the relevance of a long-term viewpoint. Burry's early emphasis on value investing and his in-depth knowledge of financial statements are examples of his attention to rigorous analysis and study. Burry found undervalued stocks and other assets with great potential for long-term growth by meticulously examining firms' financials and other pertinent data. The importance of having a long-term vision is demonstrated by Burry's achievement in foreseeing the property market collapse in 2008. He placed a sizable bet against the market that ultimately paid off when the crash occurred by spotting long-term tendencies in the housing market and meticulously examining data and market indicators. Finally, Burry's investment ideas highlight the need to continue to pay attention to long-term patterns and developments rather than passing market gyrations. His investments in commodities and water resources reflect his outlook on these resources' long-term value and growth potential. That is all for this video. How have you implemented the lessons you've learned from Burry and other successful investors in your investment strategy? We are eager to hear your ideas and observations. We will be back soon with another informative video. Don't forget to like and share this video. Until next time.